One of the most bitterly contested races this fall has been the race for Douglas County Sheriff. Democrat Greg Gonzalez and Republican Aaron Hansen have traded accusations throughout the campaign, all linked to each one's records in law enforcement. One of them will replace Sheriff Tom Wheeler, who was appointed to the spot when longtime Sheriff Tim Dunning retired. Our Commitment 2022 report gives both candidates the opportunity to make the case for your vote. We sat down with Gonzalez and Hansen ahead of next week's election. There is rarely a day Greg Gonzalez and Aaron Hansen aren't going door to door, Take care, bye -bye. trying to reach voters across Douglas County. Republican Aaron Hansen is the sergeant for the Omaha Police Fugitive Squad and former police union president. We need to have the backs of our good and honest police. That's how we're ultimately going to get trust and good collaboration between the police and the community. Democrat Greg Gonzalez retired as an OPD deputy chief in the beginning of the year. Gonzalez says recruitment would be a top priority if he's elected as sheriff. We have to stabilize the department, number one, and we have to recruit the best deputies. We need to make sure de deputies are compensated. Hansen recently served as executive director for the Nebraska Center for Workforce Development and Education. He says he'll prioritize finding job opportunities for people in the criminal justice system. I'm passionate about mentoring young men and women from a challenged background into skilled labor trade jobs, high paid skilled labor trade jobs, with the full intent of disrupting cycles of poverty and crime. As sheriff, I can be a credible advocate for that. Gonzalez says having a diverse group of sheriff's deputies is crucial. If you have police officers and deputies that look like the community they serve and speak the same languages that they do, police community relationships and trust will always, always be 100% and work well in your community. When it comes to diversity and inclusion, Hansen wants to create what he calls auxiliary specialist positions within the sheriff's office. I would like to have a deputy who's assigned to a community like refugees, maybe a deputy whose auxiliary function is to be assigned to um, L LGTBQ community issues. Known for his involvement with police athletics for community engagement, Gonzalez says he'd encourage his deputies to take part in activities like that. The more you're out in the community, and I'm not talking always in uniform, but after hours, eventually that community policing, it blends itself naturally. And despite running for partisan offices, both candidates say their political parties are not a major focus. You need to protect and serve everyone in the community, regardless of what their political affiliation is. That will be the approach I'll take as sheriff. For me, I work for everybody. And I think that's what I want all the voters to know. I don't work for one political party. I work for the people. Come November 8th, it'll be up to the voters to decide who they want working for the people. And if you want to vote early, the Douglas County Election Commission is open tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. for early voting. For more information on voting, check out our election guide online and on the KETV mobile app.